<laughs> I have to make this really quick because I have to go meet some friends. We are finally doing our Christmas gift exchange. So I, I have to, I have to really go and stop yammering. So I guess I should stop yammering right now. So this video is my December book haul and they are Christmas gifts. Some I bought, um, one I won in a giveaway and yeah, having said that, let's just go ahead and get started after a sip of coffee. So there are quite a few books here and we're going to start with this pile over here and this one is the first one that I have. I got from A Secret Santa. Every year I participate in A Secret Santa book giveaway and one of the books that I had on my list was Son of the Storm by um, Sui Davis Okung Bawa. My apologies if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. I saw this last year and it was on my most anticipated reads and I just never, I never bought it, but um, I'm so glad that my Secret Santa gifted this to me and let's just take a moment to admire this cover. It's gorgeous. I am interested and excited to delve into this. I had to make a camera change angle, so continuing on, I have two books that were gifted to me by a viewer. Thank you, Alicia. And uh, again, I am excited to get into these. One of these books we're going to be doing as a buddy read, which I, yeah, anyway, so let's get to it. So Blood Like, oops, Blood Like Magic by Lizelle Sambury. Just very quickly, um, this is a about what is her name Voya Thomas who goes through a trial and she fails it and then she's given an opportunity to do the trial over but part of the condition is that she has to kill her first love and and she's not able to fail this time so if she does fail it means that every Thomas, um, every Thomas witch will be stripped of their magic. And the second book that Alicia gifted me was My Best Friend's Exorcism by Grady Hendrix, which I have been wanting to read along with Horror Store, which is here somewhere in there. And I am super excited to be buddy reading this with Alicia. The next book that I have I got from one of my favorite used bookstores and it's The Atlas of Reds and Blues by Debbie S. Laska and this is um, a story who is the main character um, but she's just referred to as Mother in here and so Mother is first generation um, Bengali American and she lives in Atlanta and she's married with three children and she is constantly being asked where she's from and whenever she says that she's from here people are like no really where are you from so it is her experience it's mother's experiences growing up and living in a society where uh people don't because she's doesn't look like them is being constantly asked where you're from it takes a turn when there is an unfounded police raid on her home and she is intent on standing her ground and she ends up shot and she's remembering things as she lies on the floor um dying the next one the next two actually i don't need they don't need any introduction so here we go it's my heart is a chainsaw by stephen graham jones and next up is amanda gorman's uh book of poetry call us what we carry all right and on to the next stack of books but before we do that um 
Okay, the next book that I have is one of my all-time favorite classics and when I saw it come into the store I was like, ooh, I have to have it. I fell in love with the cover and it's an illustrated edition. It's Charlotte Bronte's Jane Eyre and the illustrator is Margolin Bastin. So, um, yeah, um, like that's and it comes with like historical documents uh this is for example this is an ad for a governess um it comes with a letter to the publisher and inside this envelope is the like a, a draft looks like yeah a draft of chapter one and it just comes with a bunch of different um items in here so i was excited for that so i got that and it also has an adorable ribbon <laughs> i i really don't care about the ribbon the next book that I have, I won in a giveaway, and the giveaway was hosted by Brandy Shanae over at uh, Books with Brandy Shanae, and uh, it is Evan Winter's The Rage of Dragons. I am excited to get into this one, and I know the, the second book is out, and I just, I just need to get caught up. And we're coming down to like the next, the last four books, and uh, Sankofa by Chibundu Anuzu. A new so and my apologies I know I'm pronouncing this incorrectly my apologies and I this was one of my most anticipated reads for 2021 as well and this one follows the story a daughter a wife and a mother Anna finally has the time to wonder who she really is but the only person who can tell her her mother the only parent who raised her is dead Searching through her mother's belongings one day, Anna uncovers a few clues about a father whom she never knew. Student diaries chronicle his involvement in radical politics in 1870s London, involvement that eventually led him to return to Africa where he became the president, some would say dictator, of a small nation of West Africa, and he is still alive. When Anna decides to track her father down, a journey begins that is disarmingly moving, funny, and fascinating. It raises universal questions of race and belonging, the overseas experience for African, for the African diaspora, and the search for family's hidden roots. The next one that I got from one of my favorite used bookstores is A Thousand Years of Good Prayers by Yi Yu Lin, and I have read another short story by them and I really enjoyed it and this is a collection of short stories that discuss um, how mythology, politics, history, and culture intersect with personality to create fate. And there aren't that many stories in here so I thought I could read like one a day. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, so this is something that's easily done within a month and the last two that i have one was a christmas gift from my sister and the other one i bought i've already read a bit of it and i read the picture book and it's the 1619 project and born on the water um which obviously is the picture book so i have both of these and i it's it's hard to hold so i have both of these and I read uh, Born on the Water already, and and it's by Nicole Hannah-Jones and Renee Watson and illustrated by Nicholas Smith. So I absolutely loved it. And these are, this is one of the panels, and this is when they are in Africa. And then when they are on the slave ship and slaves, it, the images get darker. So, um, I absolutely, I absolutely loved this. And the way that it's told, a teacher asks for her students to uh, trace your roots, draw a flag that represents your ancestral land. And the little girl is like, I don't know the answer to that. And so her grandmother sits her down and tells her the story. So, um, 
yeah and this is an amazing amazing story i recommend it it just allows you to have that conversation so that is all i have for you today and i will see you all in the next video if you like this video please make sure you give it a thumbs up hit the bell to be notified of new content and don't forget to subscribe and again i will see you guys later bye